Whenever someone meets me in person for the first time, they invariably say the same thing. Doug, I knew you were a technology geek, so I expected you physically to look like comic book guy from The Simpsons, but instead you look like a world-class bodybuilder mixed with an elite triathlete mixed with an undefeated karate champion. <laughs> they invariably say that. It's kind of embarrassing. So what's the secret to my perfect physique? walking moderately briskly at least 30 minutes at least once a week. Now you may have seen my award-winning TechCrunch video wherein I pack a week's worth of clothes into a single computer bag so you know I pack lightly. That video didn't win any awards. Are you sure? Well, it didn't win any yet. What you didn't know is that I packed these fit kicks in the bottom of the bag so I could work out at the hotel whenever I travel, which is fairly often. Uh, can you tell me where the fitness center is located? Second floor? Are the treadmills in there? You know how fast they go? Top speed? I need something that goes at least 2.8 to 3. 15? Wow. That'll do. I am going to shred those things with some brisk walking. Hello? Full-size sneakers would take up way too much space, and these things cost me $22, so what the hey? I wear my businessman shoes on the plane and to work each day, but I start the day out with a walk on the mill in the hotel gym. The fit kicks fit snugly and feel like barefoot style shoes. There's little to no arch support and I can't see them being overly durable for years and years, but again, they're 22 bucks. Style wise, you will have chicks drawn to you like moths to a flame, if by that you mean they want to fly directly into the flame so that they don't have to look at your shoes. They're ugly, is what I'm saying. They're extremely ugly, but again, $22 and only for the treadmill. They're moderately comfortable to wear around the house, but they don't breathe well at all. Within minutes, my feet are sweating, and after an actual workout, these things smell like... like bad breath. And my feet don't generally sweat all that much. With these, they sweat profusely. But they're portable as portable gets, and they work well for their purpose. I've worn them outside for a few three-mile walks, and they hold up fine provided it's not raining and you don't step on any little rocks. So let's run it down. Fit kicks. Comfort. Average. Style. Moths committing suicide. Portability. The best east or west. Value. Really good. Hashtag blessed. Indoor walking. Great. Outdoor walking. Fine. Outdoor walking with rocks. Bad. Outdoor walking in rain. Bad. Running, um, I'm a gadget blogger. It's a miracle I even exercise at all. You expect me to run in these things, let alone real shoes. I, <laughs> I oh, honey. But as far as flat packing travel companions go, these things are a must in every trip companion for sure, especially at 22 bucks. Do people say, oh, honey, still? I ask because I'm 38. I haven't heard it for a while. I don't think it's still popular. Maybe I could bring it back. People are drawn to people like me with perfect physiques. So if I start saying, oh, honey, again, probably going to catch on. Oh, honey, that would be my catchphrase. There goes Doug, the gadget guy. He says, oh, honey. <laughs> oh, let's click on his video 70 times. Pump up his stats.